how you doing? It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny and warmer today. It's nice, isn't it nice, Lux? Mm -hmm. Luxie, what's going on with it's, this hair today? It's crazy hair day, didn't you know? Oh, that's why I put my hat on, because I had crazy hair day yeah, this morning. Yeah, you should morning. take your hat off. No Come way, on, Jose, off. no way. Lexi got just got done working out. That's why she has this hair going on today. Anyway, to my face. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, anyways, I was thinking about the scripture in the Bible in Exodus 23 that says, "You shall have no other gods before me." We know that God is a jealous God, and God wants our whole heart first. So, can you think of some things, Lexi, that we tend to put before God sometimes? Maybe the TV, yep. our phones, yep. um, maybe working out. Very true. <laughs> That's really true. Does that make you think of any story in the Bible, Lexi? Yeah, it does make me think of a story. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold and set it up on a plain in Babylon. He summoned everyone, as soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, fall down and worship the image of gold. If you don't, you will be thrown into a blazing furnace. Nebuchadnezzar found out that there were three men who wouldn't bow down, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was furious with rage. Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these men were brought before the king and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold I have set up? Now when you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the harp, the pipe, and all kinds of music, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you don't, and you don't worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. Then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Shredak, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. We are thrown into the blazing furnace, and the God we serve will be able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. The Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual. and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men, wearing their robes, trousers, and other clothes, were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the fiery furnace. The king Nebuchadnezzar leaped into his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, Were there three men that you tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, Certainly, your majesty. He said, Look, I see four men walking in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like the son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire and perfect, the governors and the royal advisors crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was there hair of their heads. Their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. The Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defiled the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any other god than their god. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces and their houses be turned into piles of rubble. For no other god can save in this way. Wow, I really like that story. That's a really good story in the Bible. Me too. Maybe we should have Taylor tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, I want to hear what Taylor has to say. Okay. My name's Taylor Anglin, and I'm here to tell you about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Um, Taylor, what did you think about the king trying to make Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego worship a idol statue? 
But if it's only one God, you can't you can't replace him. Can you think of any idols that people may have in today's world? TV, their iPads, Doritos, toys, and other things. What do you think about the fourth man in the furnace? That it was God, and once something bad's happening, God can always help you, save you. You have to keep preaching, going to church, and following the commandments that God said. Very good. Thank you. Taylor, great job. Uh, that was just really good. Really all good all the yeah. things you said was excellent. That was that brought some really good points to the story. And now we're going to talk about three things that we learned. Mom, you want to say the first one? Sure. One thing that I think we can learn from Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which those, I think that's really it's a hard to twister. say. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. And Taylor, you did really good on that. Um, is that we need to be like them and worship God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. That we worship God no matter what. If people tell us, you, you can't worship God, we're going to worship God anyway. I think that's the first point. The second point would be don't put other, um, any other gods before, um, before him. So like video games during this time, we have a lot of time on our hands. So maybe um, get up in the morning and read your Bible or worship or uh, something out of your normal routine that um, you could put God first. And I think the third point would be that God always protects us. Think about that. Can you imagine being thrown into a fiery furnace, you know, and I don't know about you, but I would have been afraid thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to burn up. And what's so cool is that God was in the fire with him and he protected him. So I think we need to remember that, that during this virus time, that God will protect us and watch over us. Just as he did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he watched over them and protect them in that fiery furnace. God will protect us from anything because he loves us and we're his children and he cares about us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Lex, you want to pray? Sure. Dear God, we just thank you so much for protecting us um, when we're in the fire or when things um, aren't going our way, God. We just first off want to say thank you yes. just for everything that you do for us. And yes, Jesus. God, I just pray that um, in this in these next couple weeks or even tomorrow, God, that we would just put you first. We would just learn um, to, to get out of our normal routine, God, and to put you first. And we know that we'll be blessed because of that, yes. God. So we just um, pray that you help us um, give us strength to do this, Jesus. And um, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. One more thing before we go. This week, we want you to draw a picture of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and God in the fire and send us the picture. That is your homework assignment for this week. We'll see you next week. Love ya.